Everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. Tesla recently revealed that if things go according to plan, the Optimus Gen 3 by 2025 would be officially IP67 certified. That means it's fully dustproof and could even serve as being submerged in water up to one minute deep for 30 meters. Imaging that a robot built handles more than just dry indoor space. It's ready to face real world conditions. In today's episode, we'll dive into five compelling reasons why Elon Musk is confident that his Tesla Optimus will dominate the humanoid robot market by 2025. And be patient, the final reason will absolutely surprise you, just like it did when we first heard it. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we, we started up with someone um, in a robot suit, uh, sort of down, and then we've progressed tr dramatically year after year. Elon Musk has repeatedly highlighted the extensive range of tasks Tesla's humanoid robot could perform, surpassing 1,000 distinct activities. With each software update, this number could grow to 5,000 or even 10,000 tasks. A critical enabler of these capabilities is the development of the world's most advanced robotic hands, designed to rival human dexterity. If a human hand can perform 100 distinct actions, these robotic hands aim to accomplish at least 60 of them. Historically, the idea of owning a humanoid robot capable of handling a variety of tasks, ones you're unable or unwilling to do, has seemed far-fetched, largely dismissed as a concept confined to science fiction. After all, who would believe a sluggish, mechanical assistant could genuinely replace human efficiency? However, as Elon Musk has confirmed, Optimus can fold clothes, water plants, handle delicate objects like eggs or batteries, and even operate a computer. It can also squat, jump, and navigate an office space with an impressively natural gait. Imagine deploying Optimus in a clothing store where it could fold and pack thousands of shirts for customers daily, eliminating the need to pay human staff. Farms could do away with complex irrigation systems by utilizing these robots for watering crops. Or consider this. Each morning, a robot could collect eggs and prepare breakfast sandwiches for children. Such possibilities, once purely the stuff of fiction, now edge closer to reality with every technological breakthrough. To achieve all of this, Optimus's hands are considered its most critical feature. And that where... That where the Tesla bot team has concentrated much of its focus and effort. If you want to have a humanoid robot that can do things that a human can do, it's actually it's a, it's a very high bar. So our, our new arm has 22 degrees of freedom instead of 11. As demonstrated by the hands of the Tesla a bot, it can continuously move its fingers much like a human hand, a capability that Tesla's competitors have yet to achieve. The Tesla Optimus robot currently powered by Tesla's AI4 chip utilized in its full self-driving system, is engineered to navigate and interact with its environment through an AI-trained brain. While the current model operates on the AI4 chip, the commercial version is likely to be equipped with the upcoming AI5 chip, expected to enter production early this year. This next-generation processor will significantly enhance Optimus's capabilities, enabling it to tackle a broader range of tasks, from manufacturing and household assistance to disaster response and rescue operations. Positioned as a versatile solution for hazardous, repetitive, or monotonous tasks, Tesla. Optimus is transitioning from a concept to large-scale production. Elon Musk has revealed that Tesla aims to manufacture thousands of these robots by 2025, beginning with pilot deployments in Tesla's own factories. Production is expected to ramp up quickly, with targets set at 50,000 to 100,000 units by 2026 and the potential to reach 500,000 robots within three years. We are confident that when considering the purchase of a humanoid robot, 
affordability is often the second biggest concern, following curiosity about what these robots can actually do in everyday life. Currently, the average price of a humanoid robot typically ranges from $80,000 to $300,000. This price tag may be quite shocking, but it is a reality. The high cost is due to the complexity of building humanoid robots and the long-term utility they offer. However, with the current market landscape, companies like Tesla and Unitree are challenging this trend by offering humanoid robots at significantly lower prices compared to the industry standard. So in order to have the robot not cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars, in order to make it cost like you know, ten or twenty thousand dollars. Elon Musk has committed to keeping the price of Optimus around twenty thousand dollars, a figure that seems significantly lower compared to its competitors. On the other hand, the Unitree G1 is priced at sixteen thousand dollars for the basic configuration, while the premium version, the Unitree H1, starts at ninety thousand dollars. With these prices, owning both Optimus and the Unitree G1 becomes a feasible option for many without worrying about the global accessibility of these robots. One reason Tesla can keep the price of Optimus low is due to vertical integration. Tesla manufactures its own gearbox, motors, and batteries for its robots, eliminating the need for external suppliers. By leveraging technology and processes from electric vehicles, Tesla is able to significantly reduce costs and scale up production with the help of its gigafactories. This integration enables Tesla to offer humanoid robots at a lower price compared to other manufacturers. Meanwhile, Unitree has managed to keep the price of the G1 low by optimizing its design. The smaller size of the G1 and its less complex structure allow for the use of smaller motors and fewer materials compared to the H1 model. Despite the reduced size, both the G1 and H1 have nearly the same weight. Unitree also reduced the number of wires, cables, chips, and screws used in the design, which although simpler, significantly contributes to lowering production costs. Furthermore, most of Unitree's robot hardware components, except for the chips, are designed in-house. This control over design and manufacturing helps them improve performance while keeping costs low. The $16,000 price tag for the G1 is likely the most affordable humanoid robot on the market. Unitree's pricing achievement is especially impressive when compared to similar robots, such as Boston Dynamics Atlas, which costs over $200,000, and the Spot Robot, priced around $74,000. However, it's important to note that these prices are only estimates and could change once the robots are actually available on the market. Optimus might be priced under $20,000, while the Unitree G1 could exceed $16,000, or both could have different prices. Only time will reveal the final cost of these robots. It will be able to do anything that any human can do, possibly within, within the next uh, year, year or two. Elon Musk takes pride in Tesla's Optimus for its ability to self-learn through simulated environments, allowing it to develop skills and adapt before operating in the real world. This unique training method significantly accelerates its learning process, making it more autonomous. With its quick adaptability, Optimus can adjust its movements and actions instantly without the need for close supervision. For example, whether assembling battery packs on a production line, handling household appliances, folding clothes, or making a cup of coffee, Optimus fine-tunes its movements based on previous experience, much like humans improve tasks through practice. It might be an exaggeration to describe Optimus as completely autonomous and independent of human assistance. In reality, it initially requires minimal human intervention to configure a task. After that, it operates almost entirely on its own. Estimates suggest that Optimus reduces human involvement by up to 99%. Optimus is equipped with a neural network processor, delivering an astounding 144 trillion operations per second, enabling advanced object recognition and real-time decision-making. Moreover, its AI models are updated every 48 hours integrating all the new data it collects to ensure continuous learning and stable improvements. Think of it this way. 
While you might pay $20 a month for faster feedback and the latest updates on an app like ChatGPT to avoid outdated information, Tesla's Optimus doesn't follow those rules. You have a humanoid robot with advanced capabilities and thanks to Elon Musk's vision, Optimus comes factory equipped with fully integrated self-updating software. In other words, it's a self-sustaining system that learns and evolves without human intervention. Honestly, why would we want to manage a robot like a pet that requires constant care, needs maintenance schedules, or causes concern about when its system will need updating? That's the brilliance of Optimus compared to other humanoid robots that rely on remote controls. It's designed to take care of itself. It's here to make life easier, not add more tasks and checklists to your day. One of the key factors is how Tesla's Optimus interacts with the world. Its hands are no longer limited to just picking up objects. Now they can perform incredibly delicate tasks, such as cooking, clearing snow from the driveway, or even bathing your child. As Elon Musk confirmed earlier, the Tesla Optimus Gen 3 is equipped with advanced tactile sensors, allowing it to adjust grip and pressure precisely according to the task at hand. We are truly excited about the possibility of having our own R2-D2 or C3PO, never tiring, never complaining, and always delivering flawless experiences. Tesla Optimus can digest all input data and respond when placed in real-world contexts, right in your living room. This is the next milestone that everyone is eagerly anticipating. The mobility of Optimus has been a hot topic of debate over the past year. Most humanoid robots today walk with distinctive gaits, each one sparking comparisons. Some people even like their movements to the way they walk after drinking 20 glasses of 2014 Raven Red Wine. It's amusing, but... It seems many of us have overlooked the hidden complexities behind these robots' postures. At first glance, their movements might appear too slow to handle the tasks we expect of them. And to be fair, their current speeds in such positions are really no inconvenience for the tasks we expect them to do. As of now, Optimus moves at a speed of about 1 meter per second, roughly 2.2 miles per hour. However, it's crucial to note that this isn't its final capability. Tesla's target is for Optimus to reach speeds of 2.2 meters per second, approximately 5 miles per hour, by the time it launches commercially. Since late last year, Tesla has focused intensely on enhancing both the mobility and dexterity of Optimus. According to Milan Kovac, Tesla Bot Engineering, the team is working on several key improvements. These include integrating enhanced vision systems for better preemptive planning, refining its gait for more natural movement on uneven terrain, improving responsiveness to speed and direction commands, teaching it to fall in ways that minimize damage, and ensuring it knows how to get back up. These upgrades aim to make Optimus not just faster, but also more adaptable and reliable in real-world scenarios. As seen in the recent update regarding Optimus's ability to navigate uneven terrain, Many of us initially mocked the robot's wobbly walking style. Even we had a chuckle at first. But soon, we began to notice some intriguing details that Tesla had yet to publicly share. You might wonder, why doesn't Tesla bot walk upright like a human? Why does it always seem to have its knees bent like a slow-moving elderly person? Many people have raised these questions, even suggesting that they wouldn't want to invest in something like this. Some have even argued that Tesla should focus on electric vehicles rather than robots. We get it. Honestly, we felt the same way at first. However, after following Optimus's development and examining the recent updates Tesla has rolled out, our perspective has completely shifted. In particular, the video showing Optimus moving up a slippery, uneven slope highlighted two key points that we now recognize as crucial. How it reacts to the terrain and how it moves across it. These aspects reveal a level of adaptability and precision that we hadn't initially appreciated. According to Tesla, this was the first time Optimus had been tested on terrain where even humans need to be cautious. Milan Kovac, the lead engineer for Optimus, even mentioned that he nearly slipped himself while walking on that very slope. So, it's understandable if Optimus stumbles, 
What's noteworthy, however, is that it was able to climb both up and down the slope without falling. This is the part that warrants deeper analysis. Tesla Optimus is also an electronic device, meaning it faces the same security requirements as your smartphone, if not more stringent. As advanced robots, they require even stricter controls to ensure safety and reliability. Tesla has made it clear that their goal is not only to create a humanoid robot that excels in performance, but also to prioritize user safety, security, and privacy. Tesla has equipped the Tesla Optimus Gene 3 with a suite of advanced safety features, including emergency stop mechanisms, obstacle detection, and sophisticated navigation systems that allow the Optimus to operate safely in various environments from home, office, factory, or even crowded parties. These systems are specifically designed to prevent accidents and ensure the Optimus can work alongside humans without posing risks. In contrast, Robots from Boston Dynamics such as Atlas and Spot are also equipped with advanced sensors and AI that enable them to navigate complex environments safely. However, Boston Dynamics tends to place more emphasis on performance and versatility, rather than focusing on user safety to the same extent as Tesla. Meanwhile, robots from Unitry, like the Go1 and Go2, do incorporate basic safety protocols such as obstacle avoidance, but they lack the sophisticated safety mechanisms found in Tesla Optimus. Tesla is well known for its strong emphasis on user privacy and data security across its entire product ecosystem, from vehicles to digital services. The Tesla Optimus Gene 3 is expected to integrate advanced encryption, secure communication protocols, and strict access control measures to protect user data and prevent unauthorized access. This focus on data security is crucial for users who are concerned about privacy in the era of smart technology. In contrast, while Boston Dynamics leads in robot performance, they do not emphasize user data security to the same extent. Their robots are primarily designed for commercial and industrial purposes, where data privacy may not be a primary concern. Similarly, Unitree provides limited information on their data security measures which could raise concerns for users who prioritize privacy. Tesla's approach to user control is another area where the Tesla Optimus Gene 3 stands out. Tesla is capable of implementing robust authentication and authorization mechanisms, ensuring that only verified users can access or remotely control the Optimus. This minimizes the risk of unauthorized remote access, which could endanger users or compromise safety. In contrast, robots from Boston Dynamics, some of which are used in military applications, may offer more open remote access capabilities, potentially introducing greater security risks. Meanwhile, Yuntree's more affordable robots may require users to trade off personal data security during use. At around $16,000, just $4,000 less than the Tesla Optimus, the security gap is significant despite the relatively small price difference. Tesla has publicly committed to developing AI systems, including the Tesla Optimus, with strong ethical principles. This ethical framework is expected to lead to additional safeguards and monitoring measures to protect user safety and prevent misuse of the Tesla Optimus. In contrast, competing robotics companies like Boston Dynamics and Unitree have not made similar public commitments to the ethical development of AI.